So MariaDB, we have to install and configure MariaDB, which is uh, the de facto option for Enterprise Linux 7 for MySQL. Now in a production environment, there are a ton of different options out there for MySQL. We focus on MariaDB because it's mentioned by name in the exam objectives. Any other database management system capable of working with MySQL would work in a production environment. Now MariaDB is designed to work with relational databases, which gives us the ability to organize data in a structured way. Tables store the data, rules ensure the uniqueness and consistency of the data, and the indexes provide us with rapid access. Structured query language, aka SQL, is the standard tool that we use to retrieve and manipulate data from a relational database. MySQL is one of the most popular relational database management systems out there. The default uh, relational database management system prior to Enterprise Linux 7 was MySQL. In Enterprise Linux 7, it is MariaDB. Uh, there's also other options that are installed by default, but they're not mentioned by name in the exam. So MariaDB is a community developed fork of the MySQL database project. It preserves compatibility with MySQL and adds a variety of new features. So to give you a quick comparison, MariaDB 5.5 is fully compatible and in many ways is a better version of MySQL version 5.5. So the first thing that we want to do, of course, is make sure that the necessary package are, packages are installed. If we're setting up a system to thoroughly test it, go ahead and install MariaDB server, which is appropriately named. That's going to be used what we actually to set up the database system and install the MariaDB, which is going to install the client packages for you. Once you've done that, you can use MySQL to test out your database connections. You have to start up the MariaDB service. You have to enable the MariaDB service. It's going to default to port number 3306. So anytime you're using non-default port numbers, of course, you have to make configuration changes to MariaDB itself. You also have to factor in the firewall. You also have to factor in SE Linux. Now, the initial start of MariaDB will create standard tables within the database. Those built-in tables, for lack of a better term, are going to be used for user authentication. There's going to be a root database user, which is separate from the root root user on our system. There's going to be a database root user. And then, of course, we can create additional users from there with a variety of permissions for the databases we create within MariaDB. So to start up the MySQL client, just issue MySQL by itself. You can specify a username, you can specify a password, and of course you can specify the server that you're connecting to. Now the initial configuration of MariaDB is basically dependent upon using that secure installation script. And we've seen that in other courses. We're going to take a look at it here again. That secure installation script does the bare minimum essentials for getting a MariaDB server up and running. I kind of like to think of it as what we typically do when we get a, a wireless access point. Uh, change the default username and password, make sure it connects to your network, uh, build in your MAC address filter list, those sorts of things would all be applicable. Same thing we kind of get from that secure installation script. You set the root password, you disallow anonymous logins, you can delete the test database. It basically walks you through four or five steps to do the bare minimum security configurations for a secure MariaDB installation. So we've got a few minutes here before the top of the hour. Let's go ahead and at least get the initial stuff out of the way for MariaDB. I think we already installed the packages, but nevertheless, we'll go through them just in case we haven't done that already. So for MariaDB to install MariaDB, let's go clear out our screen here cd into our main directory yum install dash y maria db server and maria db maria db servers already installed as well as the maria db client i thought we had installed it 
Let's go ahead and start up the service. System CTL start, MariaDB. System CTL enable, MariaDB. And system CTL status, MariaDB. Active, up and running, started. Standard errors, da, 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 yep, looks like we're good to go. So no issues there as far as starting up the service. The call that secure installation script, we should just be able to issue MySQL secure installation. So the current password for the root user should be blank. Do we want to set the root user password? Yes, we do. The new password. Don't forget it. Next prompt is to remove the anonymous user, giving anybody the ability to log in, very similar to the anonymous user we get with FTP. Probably don't want to have that on there, so let's go ahead and remove it. Next prompt, the root user can log in remotely. Probably not going to want to have that, definitely in a production environment. So we'll go ahead and disallow it. We can only log in as the root database user locally. That test database, as always, if you don't need something, get rid of it. You don't need that test database. You don't need access to it. It just leaves open a door for a potential uh, escalation attack or a SQL injection attack. Just go ahead and get rid of it. Reloading the privilege tables will load those changes into the system. Why? And we've done. We've done the basic secure installation for MariaDB. Now that we've got those things in place, let's take a look at the port information in the configuration file. Now I'm going to go against the grain and use a non-default port number just so that we can kind of bring in those other elements we've been talking about. Making sure the firewall is going to allow it, making sure SE Linux is going to allow it. So let's go into the main configuration file, which is going to be found in Etsy. And the actual file uh, is called main, not CD Etsy, list Etsy, duh, grep my. So my.cnf. That is the MySQL configuration file. Why they just don't call it MySQL.conf, I don't know. They tend to like to do these things to us. So vim etsy my.cnf. This is the main configuration file for MySQL. So in the MySQL D section, you'll notice that there's no entry in there for a port number. All I'm going to do is add the port information. So to do that, I just want to make sure I get my syntax correct. We should just be able to open a new line there and go port 3307. And I believe that's the correct syntax for it. I don't think we have to say equals. I'm going to double check that here real quick. So the default port number is 3306. To change it here, port option with the bind option port. Let me make sure that syntax is correct. Port equals, yep, it does have to be equals. Good thing I double checked that. So within this, Right quit these changes. I'm also going to check one more location because I have run into issues here before. We want to go, uh, let's do that listing. Let's cd into etsy myconf.d, do a listing here. 
And I'm gonna open up this server configuration file because I think in the latest version of MariaDB, this is actually where you make that change. I'm double checking it here. So these groups are read by MariaDB server. Use it for options that only the server should see. See the examples here. My standalone daemon for the embedded server here. For the embedded server, I think we have to duplicate the change here. Let's open up a new line and says port 3307. Right click these changes. Right now, what we'll have to do here is restart and make sure that's correct. And we should get an error message, right? We're going to get an error message because SE Linux isn't going to allow that until we tell SE Linux what we've just done. So to do that, we should be able to go SE manage port out of type MySQL D port type oops, specify the port number as TCP 3307. And we're good to go now.